Hey, good morning. Good morning. The Lord is good, eh? Yeah. It's been a long time coming. It's good to be back in St. Louis. It's good to be back home. Amen. Amen. I, I miss you all. Amen. I sure did. What's up, Casey? Uh, come on, dog. Uh-uh. <laughs> he gritted, too. How you doing? Amen. They got a good sign. Let me say this to you all this morning. Now, first and foremost, first and foremost, we want to welcome in, we want to welcome God into this place this morning. Yeah. We welcome His Holy Spirit. We welcome His His love. And I just ask that God be a blessing to each and every family in here that's represented this morning, and that you all receive the word this morning and act upon the word that is given. These are all things I ask in Jesus' precious name this morning. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Lord, we thank you right now for all grace and mercies. Yes. Because you've been good to us, Lord. Yes. You've given us new life, new friends, new relationships. And on this day, we just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us. Yes. We thank you in advance for the blessings that are on their way. We receive you, Lord, as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we say thank you, Jesus, for always interceding on our behalf. Because, Lord, if it had not been for you, we wouldn't have most of the things that we have today. God, we ask you that you continue to watch over us, watch over our families, watch over our children, watch over our homes, oh God. Keep everyone safe and out of harm's way, as you did for Gideon, oh Lord. Walk with them, talk with them, lead them and guide them. Father, draw us nearer and nearer to, through you, to you through your word. It is only you, Lord, that can save each and every one of us. But it's up to us to give ourselves to you. Father, we just thank you right now for all that you are. For you are worthy of all the praise, for we are so unworthy of everything that we have. But by you, nothing is impossible. Father, no matter what adversities we're facing this morning, no matter what trials we have to go through, no matter what is going on in our lives right now today, Lord, right now, God, we're going to put everything in your hands. We're going to put it in your hands, Lord, and we're going to let your will be done. We're going to trust you that whatever it is that we face, this too shall pass. We owe you so much, God, and we can never ever repay you. We just ask that you just receive our service and our worship. Because we can't pay you what you really are due. We thank you, God, for just release this morning. Yes. Somebody needs something to release this morning, oh God. And we're praying for release right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's looking for direction this morning. Yes. Give them direction, Lord. Amen. Somebody's seeking you this morning, oh God. Yes. Show thyself to them. Yes. Whisper in their ears that you have them, that you're right here. So, oh Lord, I'm asking you right now to fill this place with your presence yes. and with your power and with your love. Yes. These are all things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Know that God is bigger. He's there. He's listening. He's yes. waiting because he's bigger than anything yes. that you can go through. Yes. He will take you through it. Yes. He's so much bigger. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That is amazing. Yes. My babies know that song. Oh, we 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 sing that song three times a day. All right. When I pick them up, when they go to nap, and when it's time for them to go, because I want them to know that it's always something bigger. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. Boy, God is amazing. Yes, he is. I stand before y'all today with gratefulness. Yes. But y'all know how we do it up here. <laughs> Harry was finally a groom and was very happy and excited about his upcoming marriage. He was on his way out of the office when his boss came over to him with a stretched out hand and said, congratulations, Harry. I just wanted to tell you, I, been married. I've been married for 22 years, and I'm sure that you will always remember this day with the fondest of memories as the happiest day of your life. But sir, Harry said, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not getting married until tomorrow. His boss said, yeah, I know Harry. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You get that on the way home. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Say it like you mean it. Yes. Listen, I, I, the word of God. Amen. 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 If you will, would you turn your Bible to Matthew 7 and 15. Matthew 7 and 15. in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Amen. 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 Father God, as I come to you this day, Father, Lord, I ask that you be with me in this word, that we, Father Lord, as I decrease, I ask that you increase in me, Heavenly Father, let your word go forth, Heavenly Father, and let them not be only hearers of your word, but do us also, Heavenly Father. Lord, we're going to continue to lift you up in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Matthew 7 and 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious lions. Amen. 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 Sometimes as a people, we assume that if someone claims to be a Christian and they talk like a Christian and they know the Bible, sometimes we think they are committed Christians, right? No, they're not. Satan knows the Bible back and forth. So that's why we need to be in our word for ourselves. Just like there is counterfeit money that's attempted to be passed for the real thing, there are those who attempt to pass for Christians. Mm. But underneath, they are ravenous wolves. Mm -hmm. right. We know, see, one of the methods that the bank used to identify counterfeit bills is, is that they, uh, they study the bills. Merchants study the bill. You know when you go into stores, and you give them a, a five, a 20, a 10, especially a 100, if they don't have that little marking pen, if they don't see that little stripe, and sometimes, sometimes it get past them. Sometimes it don't. So just like Christians, 
we have to study the word so we can have a discerning of those Arabian wolves. Because if not, they'll eat you up. In the same way, we have to learn to recognize false prophets, wolves, knowing what to look for. Amen. Amen. Did Paul warn Timothy that there would be people who act religious but are puffed up with pride, unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, and cruel? Yes. Part of our walk is learning to discern between good and evil. Evil pretends to be good, especially among church folks. <laughs> it's always said that church folks is the worst folks. Not all of them, <laughs> but a lot of your best actors you can find in church. All right, yeah, amen. We can put on amen. an act, can't we? Yeah. We can smile. Mm -hmm. We can tell people we love them good to see you glad you're back and everything else. Inside, we're just raving as wolves just like the rest of them. It don't have to be behind the pulpit. It don't have to be in church. It can be on your job. The same thing is going on. Raving is wolf just waiting to prey upon you and attack you. Mm -hmm. They see the good in you, and they don't want you to see the aggressive smell in them. Amen. So they, they just fall back and wait. You know, and they polite as they can be. Amen. Amen. So we have to we have to learn how to recognize those ravenous wolves, those false prophets, you know, those wolves in sheep's clothing, because they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Every day you run across uh a wolf in sheep's clothing. Jesus said by their fruits you would know them. A wolf can be an expert in talking like a Christian. But when you observe his or her behavior, they look more aggressive. They really look mean on you because they don't want us they don't want you to see that. But you will see it if you know it. If you if you recognize it, if you stay in your word. You are known when you see them. You are known when they cross your path. What they say, that the wolves, they have the sweetest tongue, but they have the sharpest teeth. Amen? Amen. So if I was going to title this today, I would title it, Dressed Up Deceivers. Dressed Up Deceivers. D-U-D. Duds. Remember back in the day, ladies, we used to see those old cats. Man, they looking good in them duds. That's how that wolf be looking. Right, right, right. Dressed all up, but ready to deceive. Them. Dressed all up with everything, the words, everything you want to know. They dressed up. Dressed up, deceive. I'm going to give you three points, and I'm going to try to tell you how you can spot it. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Point number one. Wolves prey upon those who are vulnerable. Uh -huh. Wolves look like sheep. They talk like sheep. But they bite like wolves. Mm. Amen? Especially when sheep are disagreeing or dissenting. A wolf always want to be right. So when you're talking to a wolf and y'all in a good conversation, he, the wolf is going to always over talk you because he want to be on top. Because if he, if he let you get some words in, they're going to be correct. And then when you start seeing that wolf, you start speaking on that word, he's going to out talk, he's going to change the subject to something else that he can control. Amen? Amen. Now, a lot of them in church or religious organizations are underhanded in order to appear less aggressive. Underhanded, I mean dishonest, fraudulent, unfair, deceitful. A wolf going to always try to have the upper hand. Mm. They don't look like wolves. That's why they pretend to be sheep. You know, you've seen them, them pictures uh, in the Bible. Even if you just Google it, you're going to see all those wolves with sheep heads over them yeah. or whatever. Be careful, because a wolf bites hard. A wolf take advantage of you. And like I said, they don't, 
We already always associate a wolf in sheep clothing with church. A wolf in sheep clothing can be sitting right next to you. All right, now. A wolf in sheep clothing can be your mate. Mm. A wolf in sheep clothing can be on your job. Mm -hmm. You never, you can't see them unless you're in your word. If you have a relationship with God, you have a relationship with his son, most of all, if you're praying and you're on your job with that, you'll get a discerning of what, recognizing that wolf. If not, you will be bitten mm. by the wolf. Amen? Amen. And point number two, wolves deceive. Wolves live for the power of love. Exactly. They live for the love of power, not for the power of love. Amen. Amen. They want they want to overpower you so you can't recognize them. They want to give you smooth words so you can't recognize what they are inside. Sweet words, charisma. You can't hold a work a wolf to accountability. There's no submission. A lot of wolves want you to do what they say. It's my way or the highway. We didn't heard that so many times ever. Mm. <laughs> they don't want to take responsibility on making decisions. They give it to somebody else so they can stay popular. That's what a wolf would do. They don't want to take on what the responsibilities that they have so they can't, can't get mixed up in that whole situation. They use charm and charisma to win people over. People are possessed, exploited, or controlled rather than love. You've been around them controlling folks. Those are wolves. They want to be in on everything. They want to tell you how, how it's run. Even if you know it can be run better, they want to tell you, you need to do it this way. I think you should do it that way. It's better if you do it this way. They prey on your mental alertness. That's what a wolf do. So stay alert, men and women, and alert your children, people of God, because the wolves are after our children also. Amen. Some of them have been caught Amen. in the trap of the wolf. But be a praying mother, grandmother, aunt, uncle, a person. Just be a praying person. We see children that's caught up by the wolves every day. Mm. Pray for those children. Hey, you don't have to know them. Right. We see people in the, in the trap of the wolves every day. Pray for them. You don't have to know them. When people say pray for me, okay, I will. No. Immediately pray for them. If you can see a person in a trap, go to them and say, let me pray with you. Some of them will be receptive because they know they're going through something. They know they trapped. Some of them won't. They'll look upside your head. Pray anyway. Do what God commands us to do. Be obedient in the word of God. Amen? Amen. We're going to go to uh, point number three. Wolves seduce with their speech and looks. That's why they are successful at looking like sheep. They pretend to be good and care about the sheep. But those close to them know the truth. Don't we? We all been bitten by the wolf, huh? Some of us over and over and over. And we still in that trap just being ha, 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 Just letting that wolf just have his way. Still saying, oh, Lord, help me out of this trap. <laughs> but when he gets you out the trap, Go back. and he get that wolf on away back. from you, that wolf is gone. Go For months of Sunday, that wolf is gone. Oh, Lord, I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, Lord, I wish he'd come back. Oh, Lord, I wish she'd come back. She was the best thing, looking good. 
she knew how to earn my clothes, Lord. She knew what to do for me. I'm going to set this trap on back up for that wolf. <laughs> Boy, you not only you set the trap, you call that wolf, hey, wolf. <laughs> What you been up to? <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about you, seeing how you're doing. Knowing you want that wolf to say, Got that trap ready, I'm on my way. Pop! There go your mess again that, that the Lord that just took you out of. Amen. Amen. We of a people, God has to be aware of that trap. Yes. We don't yes. know yes. what we looking at yes. these days. People can look so honest, just waiting and looking at you. Just got that trap ready. Soon as you just, soon as you just get on in, pop, got this one. Not only that, we get a wolf to other people, don't we? Right. We a lot of wolves in our circle, <laughs> so they can steal and eat up other folks. That's right, Casey. <laughs> We got to be aware of those wolves. The wolf ability to maintain his cover is one reason why it's so difficult for church leadership to believe sheep who has been wounded by the wolf. It's so much bickering and battering in a lot of churches. Sometimes in, in our own little old church, we don't hear it or see it all the time, but it's not. Amen. It's behind the covers. We Amen. don't want nobody to see that. Amen. It's in every church. Amen. We got two women over here that the pastor, or it ain't got to be a man pastor. It can be a lady pastor. All right. Praying on the men looking good in church. Too. All right. Don't get all right. it twisted. And they go to somebody else and say, oh, the pastor then made her pass it. By that time, the pastor's in good with his little cliques. He in with the mother's boy. Hey, mother, you sure look good in that suit. That hat, you sure playing that on the deacon board. He got his boys on the deacon board. Man, there's some tough shoes you got on. He just been sweet in the pie. So ain't nobody gonna believe that the pastor didn't Right, right. Got up on nobody. Amen. Amen. Then when it, when it when it come to the pastor with that mess, here he go. You know I'm the pastor. Or she go. You know I'm the pastor. You know they. You know it's always gonna be some mess. They always thinking I'm looking at them, sister so and so. And here you go with 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 us is in the church. Yeah, you know they was looking at the pastor. You know that. You know the pastor don't want them. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, what the pastor want with him? Girl, you know the pastor married. Mm -hmm. hmm. Better check yourself before you wreck yourself. The pastor is just a man. Right. Or the pastoress or whatever we want to call her. She just a lady. Wolves and sheep's clothing. We have to be able to identify them. Amen. Amen. And they'll be, they'll be saying it's just two sheep biting one another. You better look again and look harder. One thing about it, a sheep cannot harm a wolf. Even if the wolf pretends no. to be wounded. Because he'll lay there and pray on the, the people of God. Because you know that ain't that ain't his protocol. He ain't doing nothing like that. No. The sheep, because guess what? That sheep been gone. We ain't reaching for the sheep. We glad they gone, making all that trouble up, lying on our pastor and pastorette. I'm glad they gone. They can probably go on ahead and lie on somebody else's church. Now they gonna make trouble on somebody else's church. And what the pastor's doing, soaking it all up. Cause they won't be, you already in, in his whole little clique. So you're gonna believe everything the pastor say. The pastor mouth is not, the good book. Right. They look good and preach the word too, and guess what? They devil is just like everybody else. Amen. Example. Yeah. I was past, I'd be saying, okay, ladies. Oh, 
We know we got something to do. So I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to sow this seed of $50. Now I want every woman in here. Not you, men. I want every woman in here to sow a seed of $50. Hey, y'all, look upside my head. <laughs> you ain't got to pay it today, though. All right. I want you to see... Uh, Sister Cage over here, and y'all want y'all to let her know, because you can get on the paper plan for your $50. <laughs> so everybody that got $50, I want you to go ahead, and I want you to pay on it. All that's don't, and you want a payment plan, I want you to get on it. Now, I done got all y'all now. A payment plan. Oh, yeah, I can give a payment plan. Okay. That's $50 from all these women in this church that I'm about to put in my pocket. Because I ain't told y'all where it's going. I just said I'm going to sow a sheep. A wolf. In sheep's clothing. And what you sheep's going to do? Y'all going to go on the sister cage and give her $5 today? $10 next week, but y'all gonna get that $50 paid up, ain't you? Yeah. You better be careful. Mm -hmm. They'll get you, they'll bite you on anything. It don't even have to be money, it can be it can be anything. We have to watch out for those wolves in sheep's clothing, amen? amen. We have to prepare ourselves. We have to stay in our word every day. We can get on Facebook and be on there for two, three hours. I had to get off of Facebook. I had to limit myself. Not even go on on some days, because I can sit, and I'm talking about me, I can sit up there and go a whole, just sit and go a whole hour on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Strolling, looking, commenting. You can take that whole hour, mm -hmm. half that hour, on, and get in your word. That's right. Don't God desire that? Yes, yes. He do so much for our record tales, Amen. and we don't want to do nothing in return. We don't even right. want to come to church on Sunday. Right. Right. We rather say, "Oh, I'm so tired." Lord knows my heart. Yeah, he sure do. That's why you're still at home, lying, deceiving, and then come to church and talk about hallelujah. I ain't saying everybody do it, but we all know we have done it. Mm -hmm. We be so tired from clubbing one night and ain't coming to church the next day. Mm -hmm. But God, he gave you all the strength you needed for that Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we even go there at 5 o'clock for happy hour and don't even leave till they close. Mm -hmm. But we can't come to church from 9.30 to, to 12, to 11.30. What kind of sense does that make people, God? We better get together. No. Not only does God see us, <laughs> People that we're trying to give the word to see the same thing. They see your actions. We can stand up here and give a good old sermon and a, a tell good old tales out the Bible. But guess what? If you ain't walking it, they just people is just waiting to see what you're doing afterwards. Amen. It just takes a little effort. It just takes a little effort to read, uh, just like I did in seven. It just takes a little effort. You can read one verse and meditate on that verse. And if you like it, God going to give you something else. God rewards us for our faithfulness. Sometimes we, yeah, he rewards me. Yeah, I've been faithful all this time. But what you faithful to? Just just reading the word. Just coming to church. That's not do that's not enough. You have to be obedient to God. You have to follow God. Just like you follow those sales, just like you follow that man, that woman, whatever it is that you're following, we need to put more into following God. Amen. We be so happy. We go on our job. We be there on time. I got to get better at it with too. Thank you, Lord, for talking to me. Because I ain't the only one. I be late for church, too. I be late for prayer. Amen. I admit it. Amen. I'm going to do better. Amen. I say, oh, man, Lauren's getting Oh, I can't find her nothing to work. <laughs> then when I put on my stuff, it's too little. I don't like it. 
The stock is tying up. I got to do better. Get your stuff ready Saturday so you'll be ready to jump in on Sunday. Right. Amen. We got to be prepared. Right. Stop dodging and bullying and blaming it on everybody but ourselves. Amen. We so good at doing that, blaming all our stuff on somebody else. Amen. Amen. We got to stop being a wolf. Because mm. we too are devious. All right. We too are deceitful. All right. Amen. We too don't want accountability. Okay. We want to throw all our troubles on somebody else. All right. We want to be living like, oh yeah, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm all good. Toe up from the floor. Speak true. Sometimes we don't want to know, let people know what we're going through. Because that's our business. Right. Our business. You a Christian, you ain't got no business. If you really in the word. All right. And one thing about it, yeah. keep on playing with God, he'll expose your business. Amen. Uh -huh. So now your business is all over the place and it's everybody's business in the wrong way. So sometimes when we're standing up behind this pulpit, we always say, oh, I ain't going to tell them everything. Some of this stuff I'm taking to the grave. I say it too. I can't get up here and lie to you. I tell y'all a whole lot of stuff. I think the honest person I've ever met in my whole life was no for Besides Jesus Christ was no for Ain't no shame in the game. No. But that's what we do when we want help. That's what we do when God surrounds you with loving people. When you want prayer, when you need things done, he'll make a way. Get, we all got prayer partners, but how many of them do we do, use them? Mm. I can say I can thank God for my little new prayer partner. All right. Because I don't even remember. I know the pastor gave us our prayer partner. I don't even know who my prayer partner is. Wow. But I know Leon is my prayer partner now. All right. All right. So I thank God for that little brother right there. All right. <laughs> and I try not to be a wolf. You know, we need to encourage people in whatever it is. We might think it don't mean nothing. Girl, that little problem they ain't doing nothing. That little problem is little to you. It's the biggest problem in their life. We just don't know. People come in here and they smiling and they just tow up for a hug. Yeah. Toe up for a word. So I might not be talking to you, but I'm talking to somebody about the wolves in their life with sheep's clothing that's walking among them every day, just taking little bitty bites. If you keep taking little bitty bites off a sandwich, what happens? Mm. So it's very interesting that God uses a wolf and sheep to portray these people among us. Amen? Amen. Because a wolf is a predator. He kills the sheep. He has much sharper teeth and stronger jaws than the sheep. So if you get into a wolf snare, Pray to God, because he's the only one that can get you out. Amen. Because he's bigger. Right. Amen. 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 The Bible warns us that reckless words pierce like a sword. Verbal abuse is real, you all. Yes. And when it's regularly done, it's lethal to the person that's getting pierced by the wolf. So let's not be so naive and think that wolves are not in our churches, on our jobs, in our house, in our circle. Everybody in your circle ain't for you. Mm. Right. Let's be prayerful and be able to have the discernment to recognize a wolf. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel.